Bar Rangok, and welcome to another U Bar Talks. This is where I talk about something that's on my mind while a game plays in the background. And today, since I'm talking about slash kind of giving a review on Doom, uh, why not have you know Doom in the background? So uh, this is kind of last minute. I didn't really record or write a script for this, but I'm just going with it. So bear with it. It's not as organized as it normally would be. So, recently the closed beta for Doom came out, and I got to play a little bit of it. And when I say a little bit, I played a little bit. I played about, I don't know, three hours of it. And I gotta say, if anything I saw during the closed beta was any indication of how the rest of the game will go, I think it'll actually be pretty good. Now, the closed beta only involved the multiplayer, and this is where you got to customize your armor and do the, all this other stuff. You could customize your guns, you could unlock different paint models and stuff. And it didn't just come from leveling up, it came from playing the game. As you played, you got a chance to unlock more and get more. And that was basically it. Now, you had a couple weapons that you could choose from in the game as well. You had, uh, as you leveled up, you unlocked more. But your basic was a submachine gun, a double barrel shotgun, uh, an assault rifle, a sniper rifle that you could charge up. And you had to if you ever wanted to do any real damage. It wasn't a one-shot kill, unless I guess you got lucky and got a headshot. But that's damn near impossible at range with everybody moving in this game. And then you also have the rocket launcher. Now, the two best guns in the game are obviously the double barrel shotgun and the, well, actually it's kind of a toss up between the assault rifle and the sniper rifle. I didn't really see people using the rocket launcher, but that's probably because of how hard it was to get hits. The double barrel shotgun is great because if you can get close enough, which you will a lot in these maps from what I've seen, you can basically one to two shot your opponent. And it's a quick reload too. So if you're a little quicker on the draw, you're good. Now unlike most multiplayers, you actually have to go find health and armor pickups if you want to stay alive. You don't just regenerate, you actually have to go out and find stuff. And I actually found that was a great change in pace. It's so different from the usual, okay, go hide for a little bit and you'll be fine. No, here you have to go out and you have to find ammo and other stuff to keep yourself going. And here's another thing that I kind of found a little odd, but there is no such thing as clips in this. Like normally you find you have to switch a clip after a certain amount of ammo is unloaded from your gun. And here it just keeps going until you run out basically. Or at least that's what it was like for my experience. So you have to find boxes of ammo around to keep yourself fueled and going. So basically, if you want to keep playing, you gotta keep moving and you gotta keep fighting. This is kind of Call of Duty-ish. And the fact that it's kind of a twitch shooter and you gotta move and you can't stop and there isn't really any, you know, camping in this. But at the same time, it's still crazy fun. Even I had fun with it. Now, I'm mostly recon sniper camping. That, that's normally my thing. But I gotta tell you, you can move and snipe in this game. It was actually a lot of fun. And the customization is pretty good, too. Uh, you unlock a bunch of different armors and looks for it, and you can say how dirty it is or how scratched up or banged up it is. And you can vary the look on it. You know, it, it, it's, it's kind of... Uh, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, shitty customization. And when I say shitty customization, I'm actually trying not to say that in like a negative way like I normally would. Because it's shitty in the right way. It's low grade, but it's enough to keep it interesting and give you enough of your own look. 
Now remember, this was all basically multiplayer. So I've got no idea how the single player will do. Uh, closed beta is coming up here. or Not closed beta, open beta, I'm sorry. And it's coming up, and so uh, players will get another shot at this. It may be that, you know, it's just multiplayer, but now everybody gets a chance to play it. In which case, I already had my shot. It was fun. I played it for about three hours, and that was all I really needed to know what was going on. I mean, it was really just, you know, one of two modes, Team Deathmatch or another, which is basically a mobile version of Capture the Flag. Now, if you had the misfortune of playing Battlefield Hardline, and I am sorry for you, you might already be familiar with that. There's a point that you can capture and it moves. However, this moves in its own way, you have no control over it, and if you want to remain in control of it and get points and win, you have to stay with it and in it. This means you are an easy target, but also that they have to come to you. So they know where you are, because there's a line that shows where it goes, and this is honestly my most favorite version. I tried Team Deathmatch two matches, and it's just, it's just running and gunning. It's, I, I never really got behind any of that Team Deathmatch crap. But here, it actually is a lot of fun, because you've got a, a set area. You can set up ambushes, you can, you know, get ahead of it, wait it out, set some traps, you know, be prepared. And you can even, this even means you can, to an extent, avoid it and other players and go ahead and arm up and get ready for when you are ready to take it on. And this brings me to another thing that I found in the game. So, there's these things called, I think it was called Hell's Gates, I can't remember, I'm not watching the video or anything like that right now, but basically what it is, is you can transform into one of the monsters from the game. And the one that they had here was basically an imp in a jetpack with a rocket launcher. So you got to fly around and blast folks, and you were super powered, but again, you could be killed. And if you were killed while you were spawned in that form, then somebody else could grab the spawn and use whatever remaining time on it to cause whatever havoc they can, unless they're killed or whatever, or the timer runs out. And it's only there for a certain amount of time, and you have to go with it. And it was actually a lot of fun running around like that. Like, here's some clips of me just blowing the fuck out of some people. It really was a blast. I know I don't sound like, you know, my normal hyper, or, well, I guess not hyper, just, you know, more upbeat version, but that's because it's almost midnight, and I'm a little tired, and I'm doing this last minute. So, all in all, the multiplayer... Gave me a lot of hope for the game because just from a multiplayer perspective, it's fun, but again, it's kind of Call of Duty ish for me. You know? But on the bright side, though, I don't think I'll have to be dealing with as many teenagers on this game because I mean, it's due. And anybody who was born from the 1970s or came from then to now, they have to have heard it. And they have to know it. And if you don't, and you still get your kids this, I'm sorry, you are a retard of a parent. Go ahead and put your cop, your kid up for adoption. Because you do not deserve it. If you just went out and bought your kid this game. Seriously. Give him the foster care. It's better off. So yeah, the game's gory. It's okay. But... You know what we're all really hoping for when we get this Doom game? It's not the multiplayer. The multiplayer is a nice touch, but we're hoping for single player, man. We saw the E3 trailer. That shit was sick. That's what we're looking forward to. We're not looking forward to the open beta. We're looking forward to this single player. Now, if they actually have a piece of single player in the open beta, I'm all in. I'm going to be doing videos of that up until whenever it runs out for however long. But I'm not doing another multiplayer. This was basically it. And I just recorded some pieces while I was in there. And just thought I'd throw them up here while I talked about the game. And like I said, it's it's fun. But, you know, we've got so many other games out there. There's only... You can't really Glorious. compete on some of these. Like, I mean, it's, it's... The multiplayer was okay, but... 
And like I said, when you've got games like Battlefield out there, it's hard to really say this could be his. I mean, when you stack this up against Call of Duty, Call of Duty is still more, well, can't believe I'm about to say this, it's still more diverse. Oh, that hurt. But, still, this has its own charm, so I can't really knock it. It's kind of like... It's kind of like a knockoff version of The Last of Us as multiplayer, if I had to compare it. And I'm not talking about, oh, it's just like the... No, what I'm talking about is, you know, it was for the game, it was meant to be played by those who love the game, and if you enjoy the game, it, basically it, it's just an extension of the game itself. Now, Call of Duty, you know, they throw, it really feels more like they throw in the single player just to add longevity to it. But all anybody's really buying for is the multiplayer. But with this game, it's kind of like you got it for the single player and the multiplayer was in there. And it's tied in well with what the game, what you expected, what you came out from looking at with this game. There's monsters, there's craziness. I mean, and who knows? This this was closed beta, so who knows? It, it might be better as time goes on, but for now, you know, as far as I would go, I'd say this is an okay game right now as it stands. It's, it's not the best game. It's not game of the year by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a good game. It's a fun game, and I think from what we see here, I think single player will be a lot better than multiplayer will by leaps and bounds actually and I know that's a lot to say that's pretty optimistic but this is due Gears of War ain't got shit on this okay this is fucking due I played this back in the 90s in 92 93 94 when I was 2 3 and 4 okay I played Doom and I played Doom 2 and I played Wolfenstein Motherfucker, I know those games. Those are so well, okay. I actually started playing them again recently because I found them on Steam. Those, well, I mean, they're kind of graphic, but when you look at the day, it's like, shit, things get violent. I can see when that motherfucker jabs the knife through his eye. Oh, that, I almost feel that shit. Well, there it's like, oh, pixels. Eh, still fun. But, you know, it was intended to be violent. And it feels like they finally kind of hit that level they were looking for. Like, Doom 3 was kind of their, you know, jumping point to try and see. And it ended up more like a suspense game, suspense horror game than anything. But here, it looks like we finally got everything we wanted from the original Doom translated over into PS4 standard now today. Like, you remember that game you played back in the 90s and the 80s? Remember how violent it seemed? We're upgrading it and we're moving it to now. All the monsters you killed, they're back. All the things that scared you half to death, they're back. So, I have a feeling that single player is going to be a lot better than multiplayer. Just from one scene here, because multiplayer ain't much. So single player's got to be something. It's got to be, it's going to basically be like Duke Nukem, I think. It's going to be everything you loved about the games from back then, but now with a fresh face on it. Thank you all so much for watching another video of mine. If you liked it and you want to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications for the channel so you can up get updates through email or through whatever to know when I post another video like this or whatever I'm posting. If you want to let me know you like the video, feel free to hit that like button, or leave a comment down below, or do both. It's your choice. But thank you all so much for watching. Y'all keep on gaming, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Let me explain by switching to the clip I recorded here. This is a loadout screen where you can choose things before going in. My issue is in the limited number of tools you can bring in. You can only bring in two items and have a third something hidden somewhere on the map. Good luck if you can actually find it. The three Hitman games prior to Absolution all allowed me to bring in all the items I would have locked when I went in into a mission. Not just a few. 